This is Joey Essex. My hair is looking green. In case you don't know, he's from Essex. And yes, that is his real name. Animal-loving Joey may have survived the jungle, but it's fair to say he still has a lot to learn. So ITV2 have decided to give him an education. See you later, Nan. See you later, Dad. He wants to see more of the world, and we want to see what the world thinks of Joey Essex. So we're sending him nearly 6,000 miles to Africa. Everything about Africa is definitely inside the, the world of Africa. Home to some of the world's most endangered species. Rhinos will become extinct. They're the most extinct things coming soon, aren't they? He'll learn about culture. Animals. He's picking his nose, this one, and he's, and he's, and he, I think he's at it as well. Geography. Do you know where my boy is? My boy. And he may even learn a bit about himself. I don't think I've ever been so scared in my life. <sighs> Surrounded by gorillas. Will Joey cope? Ah, 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 he bite me. Oh my god, oh my god. Freeze. Freeze. Will his hair look green? He's not putting this on, I'm actually being serious. Will anyone know what he's talking about? Can everyone say Reem? Anyone? And will we manage to educate Joey Essex? Educating Joey Essex, what are you saying? <laughs> It's the day of Joey's departure. Before he jets off to Johannesburg, let's establish what he knows about his trip. I don't really know much about my trip to Africa at all, really. Obviously, I've got a cameraman following me, but um, he ain't really going to be talking to me that much. <laughs> He's just going to be following me, and I've got to sort of look at him and be like, bloody hell, look, there's a monkey, like, basically about to attack me. Then he'll probably attack me and fall over and all that. And he ain't going to help people who end up filming it. Ah! Oh! Oh! Pull it out, pull it out. I've had nine injections now, and they've all been planted inside my arms. And I hope they work, because I don't really want to die yet. Uh, uh. So he's had his jabs, packed his Uggs, and he's ready to go. Lucky, lucky. 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 See you later, Nan. See you later, Dad. Imagine if I got on the plane, and there was like, well, fit girl sitting next to me. <laughs> I take all sorts of stuff, it's quite annoying. I've got, I've got a free suitcase I've got to take with me. I was going to have to take one. Appreciate your time, thank you. It's long. See ya. Bye. Over the next hour, you're going to be introduced to Joey-isms. So here's a little breakdown. Long means something's ag. Like, quite annoying, like, it's, it's going to take quite a long time. OK, so long means annoying or aggravating. Reem, I don't really think they're going to understand that. I might have to teach for African people out here. Reem, I know this one. Cool or good? Creepy sick. I don't... I don't know. Sort of a made-up word in my head, so I don't really think they'll understand that one either. Creepy sick basically means the same as Reem. What are you saying is pretty obviously understandable. What are you saying? Like, you're asking what someone's saying. So, what you're saying means what are you saying? Is that what you're saying? I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I'm pretty confused. You're confused. Joey's touched down in Johannesburg. He's been met by his first guide, Wandy, who, like Joey, owns a clothes shop and is a bit of a local celeb. I don't know much about Joey Essex. Uh, I know he's a TV star. He's here to learn about my culture and what we do as a country. So I'm just here to teach him and to learn from him. <laughs> Sat me in. What Joey up, Essex, yeah? Oh, it's Joey. Nice to meet you. Wandy, man. I like your glass and your hat. Thanks, brother. That's it. I like your style as well. <laughs> Did not have a clue. One day was going to look the way he looks. I didn't think he was going to have swag and, you know, he was going to be a... He reminds me a bit of myself, like an African version of myself. So, um, it's weird. He's got the same glasses, same hat, same shoes, same socks, same dress sense, same... same, same I've, seen, I've got them glasses in blue and he's got them in see-through yellow. Yeah, what that's are you saying? Good, yeah. What are you saying? Uh, but what? <laughs> no, it's just like a little word I say. Yeah. Oh. So what are we doing then? Where are we going? Uh, off to Soweto. Where? Soweto. 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 
a wetland. Soweto, it's a township, one of the biggest townships in probably what's the, the world. What's a township? Yeah, a township is like a neighborhood, but we no <laughs> neighborhood, but we call it a township. So Wandi is taking Joey to Soweto, not Soweto, or even Waitrose. <laughs> this is not putting this on much being serious. So one day, where, where are we actually going? Because where, where is this? So it is like city where trends like Essex. Like, yeah, it's like, so it's places that we're going to Essex. Like so, our population here, I think from the last census, I think when they counted, 1.6 million people Almost just million. here, just here. Is that that's a we, lot in it? Yeah, we're not even counting Johannesburg, Essex. How many people are there? Probably, I would say, probably about 5,000. Oh, this is small. <laughs> That's a small place, though, eh? This is nice. That's probably, that's probably like my hood, Mufulu. Well, don't I might even be less than that. I might even be 3,000, don't I? Yeah, to compare to where we live back home, it's a lot different. It's a lot more, obviously, just. They're just like huts, aren't they? They're not, it's just, it's not, it's not, they're, there's no really, they're not really houses, are they? Actually, that's, that's sort of a house, isn't it? Yeah. Soweto is South Africa's most famous township and was home to Nelson Mandela. Are we here now? Yeah, man. There's loads this of them, man. <laughs> Wandi wants Joey to experience how people party in his hometown. Joey only landed an hour ago, and it's a far cry from Essex. I don't really, I don't, I, I obviously when I thought for a car there, I thought, yeah, it's all sweet. Now I'm thinking I don't even want to get in the car. Yeah, bro, let's do this, man. This oh, is, man. Nails down, bro. This what? is like, those are kids, man. Oh, let's, let's do it, it let's do it, let's get out. No, man, let's just do this. A Soweto street party is a bit different to a night in the Sugar Hut. I just feel really not anxious, just a bit like a bit nervous around him because I just feel very out of my comfort zone. After his initial worries, the local kids seem to have taken him under their wing. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Too short. Yeah, you're pink. I see. You like them? Yeah, that looks good. Oh, <laughs> the shirt and the shirt. Believe it or not, that's custard. Around here, that's how to impress the girls. That and ripping your own clothes. It's like, this costs a lot of money, you know, to what buy the stuff. The, yeah, to the drink. yeah, so it's like a drink. So you're wasting it, you're not even drinking it, just to show that you've got money. The weird thing about, about, about these kids is you wouldn't think that they would want to impress girls with their money, because, like wasting money, because, you know, wasting money ain't a good thing, really, is it? But, I mean, we don't, we, we, can, we can talk, can't we? Spray champagne. They spray custard. But at the beginning, when I first walked in here, I was, I was so scared, honestly. I, I don't think I've ever been so scared in my life. I felt like my belly was going. I felt like my face was getting fat for some reason. I don't know why. I felt like I was swelling up a little bit. I, was, I felt a bit weird, because it's, it's such a weird environment. But after a while, I, I feel fine now. It's like I want to go, I wanna go to some, do some more dancing, really. Joey's first day in Africa is drawing to a close. After a long flight and an even longer day, he's heading to his hotel. Guys, we're going to bed now, so, uh, I'll speak to you in the morning. Lack score, you know the score, what are you going to say? Nothing. It's early morning in Johannesburg. You good, yeah? I'm busy. Yes. Yeah. Recently, yeah. <laughs> Knowing of his love for animals, Wandy's got a couple of pals for Joey to meet. Is that a monkey? No way. That ain't a monkey, is it? In South Africa, lots of people keep monkeys as pets. Like this one, eight-week-old Coco. <laughs> How cool is that? I'd love to do this. <laughs> Will you love to do that, Wandy? It's a little bird. bird. What, so you're just literally going shopping? Yeah. Holding a monkey? Can I touch him? Yeah. 
Oh my god. Satin in sweet. What, what, what's that called? A marmazet. A marmazet. 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 Yeah, marmazet. Marmazet. A marmazet. Joey, he's a marmazet. Wandy also wants Joey to meet Milo, a one-year-old waistcoat-wearing capuchin monkey. You want to train all the time? Is it bad, though, because I don't know if he likes me. Ah! There we go. Let's go. Cool. <laughs> 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 Feels like a snake like, wrapping itself around you and all that. <laughs> <laughs> do you reckon he'll do it again? Yeah. Please. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! He bite me. Did you give a bite? Monkey bit my arm, man. It's oh. just a little nubble. Oh, mate, he bite you. It's Why just bite a me little for? nubble. Look at that. What a liberty. He doesn't need a doctor or anything, really. <laughs> He's really worried. Despite not drawing blood, Joey is convinced he has rabies. But could I get rabies? There is no open wound, OK? So there's no blood coming out. There's nothing really. Yeah. I start getting shooting pains up my arm. Is that normal? No, oh, that's just normal. Is that normal, though? Yeah, that's normal. Do normal people get that? Yeah, the shooting pains? Yeah. Oh. That's just normal. Yeah, I think we've established it's normal. But could I get rabies? No, I don't think so. So if I got rabies, yeah, how long would that last for? I don't think that you'll get the rabies. I don't think so. Joey has survived. We hope the same can be said for Milo the monkey. It's the end of day two. Mate, this is beautiful here, man. I want to make cheese to this, by the way. So far, Joey's learnt that a Soweto street party isn't a street party without custard, that monkeys don't make good pets... Wait, do you reckon he's dirty bricks make my shorts dirty? And you shouldn't wear white shorts when sitting on dirty bricks. Oh! Oh, the cramp. Cramp brasses. It's goodbye to Wandy, but Joey Essex's education has only just begun. Oh, mate, this is sick, man. Mm. Joey Essex's education is well underway. But he's still got plenty to learn. Oh, oh. He's waved goodbye to Wandy and is about to journey into the wild. He's off to the world famous Kruger National Park. Not that he knows that yet. The producers told Joey he could sleep in. They lied. It's Garland, open up. Garland, your guide. Hi, Joey. Huh? Hi, I'm Garland. I'm going to be your guide to Kruger National Park. Oh, man, I'm asleep now. Oh, sorry about that. We're going to leave in about half an hour. What? Yeah. You're Seriously. I'll see you downstairs. All right, mate. Cool. Oh, mate. <laughs> this is so long. Come on, you haven't got long. Always got a small room with the bazooch. So you say, what, what, do, do, what, what? Hi, oh, mate. How are you, Garland? Good, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, man. Sweet. Oh, thanks for that. I had a bit of trouble just then. The trip from Johannesburg to the Kruger is over 300 miles. It's a great chance for Joey to take in the stunning scenery. Or not. Joey, did you have a nice nap? Something got him. Hey, man, we're at Bloody River oh, Canyon. Man. Along the way, they've stopped for a traditional South African meal of Mapani worms. Worms? No, I can see his legs, man. Just take a nice big bite. Come on, Joey, we know you've eaten worse. After the seven-hour drive, they finally arrived at Kruger National Park. The big thing is tonight, yeah. we're going to be sleeping under canvas, camping under the stars in the wild. What? Yeah, among the animals. Are you ready for that? Wait, I don't get it. What are you trying to say? You're going to camp tonight. 
Where? An old-fashioned way, inside the Kruger Park. What with the animals? Yes. In a tent. Ain't that dangerous? Well, as long as you stay in your tent, it's fine. Yeah, but tents are what's the tent made out of? Canvas. What's canvas? It's like a material. Are you doing it as well? Yeah. Seriously? Seriously. Is he joking? No. <laughs> Is he joking? No. <laughs> Is he some sort of joke on TV? <laughs> well, it's not a joke, but it will be on TV. My first impressions of Joey are that um, he doesn't really know a lot about Africa and he's in for a big fat surprise because he doesn't have any idea what he's letting himself in for. The Kruger contains more large mammals than any other park in the world. It's about the same size as whales and is an ideal place for Joey to learn more about African wildlife. While his guide Garland goes ahead to set up camp, Joey's off on safari, dressed as a leopard. Would they be aware of me because I'm dressed like a leopard? No. Are you sure? No. They have seen us many times, and we are not a threat to them. Yo, yo, my name is Joe. Live in Hackney, don't live in Byron. Woo! Oh my god, look, there's a, there's a zebra crossing. <laughs> Do you know what zebra crossing is? No, I don't know. That is that. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> what you say, say, Joey Essex on safari. So this is a bull elephant. A bull? Yeah, it's a bull. It's a boy. Oh, a boy? Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean it's, a, it's a male. A male, a okay. yes. geezer. Sick. See you later, male elephant. It wasn't the five-ton elephant that truly captivated Joey. Oh, look at this. It was the mighty dung beetle. What's he rolling? It's a, it's a ball. They're making a ball. Why does he roll the ball? He's rolling the ball. How's he doing that? He's laying the egg inside the ball. Yeah, but he's rolling it around like a little like he's playing football. What is that? What's, why is there one on, holding onto it? Yeah, that one's a female, and then the man is, is, is pushing. No way. <laughs> so he's like, he's, she's getting a lift? Yes, the female is just sitting there. Can I get out and selfie with it? No. <laughs> Turn out. Oh, crap. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Not allowed. Sorry about that. Oh, my God, it's actually a baboon. I forgot baboons had massive arses. Oh, my God, look at the baby on the back. What, is it giving, is it giving him a backy? <laughs> is that um, the daddy over there, one with the big, big one? Yeah, that one is... Uh... That's a daddy, isn't it? Yeah, uh, yes. Wow, a, mate. These are my favourite animals, by the way, good men. OK, good. <laughs> one of them, anyway. Look at this one. Oh, my God, look at it. He's attached to his bod. Why is it? What's he doing? <laughs> so I'm guessing that was a girl. Probably. <laughs> Back in the Jeep, Joey. We don't want another rabies scare. Having seen the baboons and taken a good selfie with an elephant, Joey wants to get them on Twitter. Good, man. Yes. Is there Wi-Fi on here? No. No Wi-Fi? No one. We're in the bush, remember? Pardon? We are in the bush. We're in the bush? Yes. So no Wi-Fi? No Wi-Fi around here, no? It's long, isn't it? Might as well get a tan, man, while I'm driving. Joe! Joe! Oh, sorry, mate. Get your head inside. Joey, remember I gave you the rules that uh, you stay seated. And then if you do that, if you do it again, you, like you, what you did while we were driving here, you're going to lose your permit and you won't, have, you won't be allowed to do this drive anymore with us. And you are not going to enjoy anything here. Serious? I'm telling you. OK, cool. Yes. It's a last warning. I'm sorry. Understand? Good yeah, okay. I understand. OK. All right, let's go. You keep your arms inside. You don't make noise. And you enjoy the animals. If you see something, then you can tell me. I'll stop. Oh, I'm sorry, good OK, man. don't sing here. We want to hear the animals. Yeah, no, yeah, of course. Okay. Definitely will do that. Sure. <laughs> With the safari over, Joey joins guide Garland at the campsite. Where's your backpack? Where's your rucksack? 
I didn't bring a rucksack. I brought a, um, a Tesco bag and a man bag. What the hell's a man bag? Just like one of them. Uh, <clears throat> you know, a man bag, innit? Good lord, is that like a purse? No, oh, it's like a man bag, innit? It's, it's just... <laughs> I ain't wearing it. I just, I just, I didn't know what else to bring. <laughs> oh, good. She I, fit, I, I, I did like, fit in your tent all right, then. A ball, a hair dryer. Yeah? <laughs> there ain't no plug trainer, is there? <laughs> 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 There's time for a quick bite before a night safari in search of lions. That's it. Oh, so you all right? Got attacked by a branch. <laughs> a tip for all night safari goers don't wear sunglasses. So it is, these sunglasses are putting me off. Look here. Lions. Yeah, lions. Oh my god! The whole family Whoa. of lions. Whole family. Oh, oh my god, look at biggies, man. That's Seriously. Oh yeah, he's gonna attack me, man. <laughs> Joey is just a few meters from Africa's most fearsome predator. <laughs> Bloody hell, man, you see? Jesus almighty. But that was a moth, you see. <laughs> what? Shine over there. There's all the girls lying there. Oh, my God. Is it all the females? Yeah. yeah. And he's, what's, what's, why has that one got a big bush around his head? He's the male. What, and the girls' one just don't grow it? No. No. In nature, only the males grow it. Oh, my God, look at their teeth, man. It's bedtime in the bush, and some of the locals have come to say good night. There's a hyena outside my tent. A hyena. They eat people like us, don't they? What? People from Essex? Oh, mate, this is so... Long? Long, mate. I can't believe we're doing this, man. I've got a thing about everything. I can't see anything in here. It's like pitch black. I'm going to bed anyway. Night. Night. Good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Or the hyenas. Oh, man, this is proper long. You there, guys? You're on your own, Joey. Good luck. Now listen, listen. Twitterers, I can hear cricketers, I can hear crookers. I can hear everything, man. Joey's African education started less than a week ago. Would they be aware of me because I'm dressed like a leopard? After surviving last night, he's leaving South Africa quite and flying nearly 2,000 miles north to Uganda. For Uganda and South Africa is all the same thing. And it just confused me because Uganda sounds like a completely different country. Well, it is a different country. And it's the place to learn about mountain gorillas. Uganda's jungle is home to half of the world's population, and Joey's hoping to meet some of them. Well, I don't really know much about gorillas. I know they, they're the ones who established the um, catchphrase, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Um, that's about it, really. Before he can get to the jungle, he must meet his new guide, Walter, at the equator. He's got to find the bus to Kayabwe. It's somewhere in there. Wait, you know where is? It's Kayabwe. Mayabwe? No, it's definitely Kayabwe. This is Joey's toughest challenge yet. Kayabwe. Got it. All right. Some geezer told me that way. And now this geezer's telling me this way, yeah? How are you? How are you? My name is Joey Essex. What's your name? Nigeria. Nigeria? Yeah. Great. 
Hello. What? 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 Hello. What happened? Look, I'm feeling pretty weird. That's it. That's something. That's me. You cool? Good job. Yeah. I normally get on the 167 or the 247. To like, I used to go like, Lat and Bucket Steel, that's living cheap or somewhere like that. And now I'm going to. Kayabwe. What's happening? It's a two hour journey, so settle in and make some friends. Two hours into his journey and he's arrived at the equator where he'll meet his guide, Walter. There's another six hour drive till they reach gorilla country. Sick. So do what you need to do, Joey. Mandanzi, Chapati, Rolex, Sambusa. Is that, is that a watch? Yeah. Oh, what? Is that really a watch? Yeah. You saw Rolex is here? Yes. Can I see? Rolex, we put a chapati and we put up eggs, plus cabbage, the small cabbage, and the tomato, and then we wrap it and then we start to eat. A Rolex, a Rolex is, um, is something you eat here, but in where I live in Essex, it's, it's a watch. How much is a Rolex? Rolex is 3,000 shillings. OK. Yeah, I'll have one of them. Yeah. Is it actually, is it actually called a Rolex? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. This is jokes. Wait, 5,000 is a pound, so this is... For a Rolex, it's only, like, 40p. It's quite good. Egg, Rolex, yeah. Rolex. Oh. There you go, there's my Rolex. Thanks, yeah. for, thanks for that. Is it not, do, you, do you like this? Yeah, it's nice. It's nice? Yeah. Of course it's nice. Go on, Joey. Take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Well, nice. Anyway, thanks to my Rolex. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Let you. me show you around. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks to my Rolex. Thank you. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Thanks, guys. Thank you. See you later. This is Walter, Joey's new guide. Walter, where you been? <laughs> Walter, Walter, where have you been? <laughs> yes. Where you been? Oh, I've been here. We're waiting for you. Oh, mate, I was on some naughty cab journey, yeah? How was it? It was, it, was, it was quite awkward. OK, now, uh, we're here at the Equator. Equator? Equator is an imaginary line that cuts the world. Is this the Equator two... now? Yeah, we are at the Equator right now, here. Well, this is definitely... How come it's so empty? There's no one here. <laughs> uh, what, is this like a museum? It's, it's not a museum. People just stop here to see uh, the Equator, because the Equator divides the world into two hemispheres, the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. What's a hemisphere? Hemisphere is uh, a, like a zone. Which uh, part of the world do you come from, UK? I think I live in East London now. 
I live in the border. I live, I live, I live on the outskirts of East London now. Okay, no, that one is on Northern Hemisphere. The Northern Hemisphere. What's North? No, I'm Northern East. No, Northern Hemisphere. The world is. Can I do it for you? This is the world. The circular. World. And we have the equator cutting across the world like this. So we have the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. You come from London. London is on the northern part of the hemisphere. And yeah. right now we are the southern part of the hemisphere. Yeah. So here we are. Got that, Joey? 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 <laughs> it's nice to appreciate what we've got, because out here they've not got much. Educated on the equator, well, sort of, Joey's off to search for the world's biggest and most endangered primate, the mountain gorilla. I've had enough of this food, enough of these Rolexes, enough of these worms. So I've snuck out of the car while we parked up. And I uh, bought some tuna chunks and sunflower oil. What are you saying? Before his gorilla trek tomorrow, Walter wants Joey to meet the local Bakiga tribe. They live on the edge of the gorilla's natural habitat. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you saying? Easy, easy, easy. Hi. You all right? Good. <clears throat> Hello, mate, you all right? I'm Abraham. How oh, nice to meet you, Abraham. Yeah. Oh, nice to meet you. How are you? Fine. Sweet. Uh, He's this, the elder of I'm this the area. elder of this area. Yeah. Oh, and, you're uh, the elder? Yeah, yes, the elder. and you're welcome. What, what's, an, what's an elder? An elder is a person, is an elder person who is in charge of a village. Oh, you're, you're in charge of the whole place? Yes. Exactly. Ah. Yes, exactly. So you're the boss? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sort of. So now this is what we dress in as when we dance. What? Yeah, yeah this it's is kind a, of a, a kind of a, a, a costume <coughs> which we put on. What is it, like a cape? Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh, like that. Or oh, is it unisex? Yeah, uh, for men. Oh, for, for men? women. Uh -huh. You are now a mochiga. <laughs> you are like a mochiga. Now I'm officially a chigabiga. Yes. yes. A mochiga. A mochiga. A mochiga. A mochiga. A mochiga. Yes. Mochiga. Yes. Exactly. mochiga. Yes. Uh -huh. A real yeah, mochiga. A mochiga. <laughs> so, <laughs> they are coming to so come you and address you. Those are our drummers. Who are they? They, Joey, are the drummers for your official welcome dance. You dance with those two. Thank you, sir. Yes. I had a really good time. Yes. Can everyone say Reem? Reem. Okay. Reem basically means Reem's like a word like saying that was really good. That was sick. Yeah. You know, like creepy sick? Huh? Yeah. You know, anyone? Reem. Yeah, Reem. Put that back. Oh. Okay. okay. Can you do that? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're sick of it, bro. What what? That's one of my most amazing experiences I've had in my whole life. Really? I think they suit you. They look good, don't they? Even though I was out of my comfort zone, you know, like when we first met the uh, kids in Soweto, I don't know why, I don't know where I've got used to being in Africa. I felt more comfortable with everyone. I weren't, I weren't scared. I, just felt, I felt like it was, like, I could be a part of them, you know what I mean? One, two, three. Three! Yay! Joey Essex's African education has brought him to Uganda. Yeah, I thought I was coming into Africa, and I thought it was going to be like ABC, but it's not. It's been like Z, Y, and the last set of the alphabet. He's searching for the critically endangered mountain gorilla. This is one of my T-shirts that um, I bought at the airport. 
to sort of fit in with the, uh, with the, with the guys that I'm about to meet. That'll go perfectly with your leopard print jacket and your zebra print shoes. Some of the animals you're going to see are endangered. What's that mean? Some of the animals you're going to see are endangered. Dangerous, basically. Not endangered. And yeah, what's that mean? They're in danger of becoming extinct. <laughs> That's pointless. <laughs> So trying to um, be really happy in that, but right now, because I just woke up at 4 a.m., mosquitoes biting my ankles with the producers going, Joey, get up, man, get up. Come on, get up, you can do it. Ain't just like that, is it, on TV? You've got to look cool, you've got to ring, you've got to put some nice moisturiser on, you've got to put a nice bit of eye shave on, get in the shower. It's 4.30 a.m. Joey and Walter are driving to Bwindi Impenetrable Forest, home to the elusive mountain gorilla. Before they start their trek, Walter's sniffed out a slight problem. If you're wearing a uh, perfume, they're going to upset them. I sprayed a little bit of azari on this morning. Then you have to get it off. Oh, uh, really? Yes. That's all nice as well. It's all quite green. You have to wipe it off. I can't believe you've got to wash my Versace off. <laughs> Get it off, Joey. You don't want to attract any amorous female gorillas. Oh. Oh, this is definitely long, isn't it? This is proper long, isn't it? Liberty. This is so long. This is bare long. Not as long as the trek to find gorillas. This is Joey's guide. It's up to him to keep Joey in order, which is probably why he's brought the machete. Hi, Gusin. Nice to meet you. I like your um, hook. This is a machete. A machete? Or traditional seco. This, this family that we are tracking, we have been with them for a couple of years. Did you touch them? Like, go you right, mate? No way. One of them can come to you. What? But not you to go to them. What, well, I can sit there like this, and it will just come up to me, to my face, and screw up to me? Yeah. Yes. Um, all right. The trek begins. There are roughly 800 mountain gorillas still in the wild, and about half of them are here in Bawindi. It's like a nice, it's a like nice sort of coldness in here, isn't it? Don't you think, Mua? It's very fresh. There's no guarantee they'll find any gorillas at all, or if they do, how long it'll take them. I didn't realise it was like a proper jungle. Mm -hmm. Oh. What's that? African great blue turaco. What's that, a rabbit? Turaco. A raccoon? It's a bird. What's funny about those, those birds is that they tell time. They can tell the time? They tell time, yeah. Just that certain bird, yes, you're yes, telling me, yes. can tell That's the time? Me, yeah. That bird genuinely can tell the time. Are you joking? This man genuinely cannot. This is Africa. <laughs> This time for Africa. Oh. Oops, oops. <laughs> Mate, this stick, man, has saved my life. <laughs> this stick has saved my life. So many times. Right. Oh. Right, so I've come I've come across some poo. Look. What poo is it? It's quite baby poo, but it could be. Oh, I didn't realise that was poo. That's wow. funny. That one is from Jacko, from a Jacko. That's a jacket? Yeah. They a jackal. Swept to jackal. J jackal. Joey, it's a jackal. Um, like, like the dogs. Would you be able to tell the difference between a gorilla poo, a jackal? Yes, of poo? course. Yes. Because okay. a gorilla poo is this size. No way. What? Hmm? It could be of. It's like a sword. Maybe up to here. This one of a silverback. Hmm? Wow. Just like this a bat. size. Hmm. That's that's a tree to demonstrate. It's not exactly the poo. Still no sign of gorillas. My feet are hurting. I'm ready. <sighs> Mate, this stick has saved my life today. Tell you. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. Keep walking. What, keep walking. Like yeah, quick, sir? Yes, yeah. Quick, quick, quick. How far do you reckon that? The group are getting close. Roughly how long? 
We must be very close. Very close, apparently. Three hours into the trek, and they found more poo. Is that, whose poo's that? Well, it's not mine. We are getting close to the gorillas, and this is uh, what shows us how close we are to the gorillas. Suppose this is flesh poo. Fresh, fresh poo. Fresh poo. Very stinky. For the gorillas. Very, Thanks. very stinky. After an arduous three and a half hour trek, the group are very close to the family of 13 gorillas they've been looking for. I feel quite nervous. He just said they was feeding right where we was. And is that, is that on there? Yeah, that's the ones. That's them? Yeah. Can you smell them now? What? The smell. Yeah, they stink. Oh my god. I can't go there. Is that one there? Look at the one there, my god. I can see one. My heart is beating about 100 miles an hour. That's a young silverback that is feeding from there. Is it silverback? Young one. Oh my god, you've got to get vision. This is where they just was. Oh my god, I'm surrounded by gorillas. Look at the size of it. I can't believe him as he's standing next to a silverback. That's like, how much feet is this? How much foot? Nah, well, it's about 10 feet. Or three paces for an angry gorilla. I literally feel like David Attenborough. Mm -hmm. I can't just believe it. As the saying goes, if you haven't had a selfie with a gorilla, then you haven't lived. Oh my god, I love this. Silverbacks are the dominant males of the group and can weigh up to 30 stone. Oh That's about three Joey Essexes. Look at him just coaching, man. They don't look real. They look like they're electric. He's picking his nose, this one, and he's, and he's, and he, I think he's at it as well. Yeah, he does, almost like us. They're just like, they're like, they're exactly like us, got saying blood, saying, they pick the nose, I do it all the time, they do everything yeah. I do. They can even scratch their body. Mm -hmm. They can groom each other by removing maybe ticks. They, or... they do their hair? Yeah. Do they? Yeah. They do. They are like you, Joey. Gorillas have about 98% of the same DNA as humans. Oh, mate. Hey, the snot. It's the mucus. Do you want your snot? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Freeze, 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 freeze,
Is he bad? Is he bad? Is he bad? Is he bad at doing that? My time in Africa has made me realise a lot about myself. It's made me realise that I want to learn more about other countries and learn more about life, really. This is sick. Listen to this, right? I've learned that a dung beetle, yeah, um, actually pushes rock balls of poo with his girlfriend on it and then lays his eggs in it and then pushes his girlfriend, gives his girlfriend a backy. I learned that tribes love a bit of that. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned that Uganda is um, not a country. It is a country. Oh. What's Africa, then? A continent. <laughs> I've learned that Africa's a continent. And, Af and Uganda is a country. One Monday morning, I got up late, and there was Mr. Monkey outside the gate. One Monday morning, I got up late, there was Mr. Monkey outside the gate. Don't know what to say, the monkey won't do. Oh, my God, I thought it was a gorilla attacking me.